Aaron, we've heard this term before, Dutch disease. Tell us what that means. Well, it's basically the idea that an appreciation of natural resource uh, exports drives up a country's currency uh, to the point where um, other exports are no longer competitive in uh, outside markets and imports actually become uh, much more competitive in the domestic market. It's are called we? Dutch disease because this happened to Holland in the 1960s when a lot of oil and gas was discovered uh, in the North Sea and I guess I would suggest that it's happening to Canada now. Well that's what I want to know. Do you think we're suffering from Dutch disease right now? I mean, I do think so. I think there's absolutely no doubt, uh, you know, as Avery mentioned, uh, that all of this uh, resource development is driving up the exchange rate. And it's not just the inflow of foreign currency uh, to buy the resources themselves. It's also the inflow of foreign currency to buy equity in the resource industries. So foreign investors buying Canadian dollars <laughs> to take over Canadian oil companies or to buy shares in those companies, all of this drives up the currency. And yeah, there's no question, it's destroyed a lot of manufacturing jobs in this country. Roger, how about it? Are we suffering from Dutch disease in this country? I don't think so. I'm, I think what we're seeing is a more profound structural change in the nature of the Canadian economy. And we're dealing coast to coast with the problem of, of volatility. I mean, the fluctuating Canadian dollar is a, is a concern to the oil patch as much as it is, <clears throat> oh, it's a concern of the oil patch as well as the manufacturing sector. But we're also dealing with tremendous flexibility, uh, uh, volatility in terms of resource prices. So I think we have to look at the problems that the manufacturing sector in Ontario is having, recognize that the problems are real, but don't jump to a quick conclusion that somehow we can fix the Canadian dollar and restore the Canadian economy to some sort of last, uh, you know, golden golden age. The world is changing around us. We're going to be buffeted around by that. It can't be helped, and we have to figure out how to handle it nationally. But we can't sort of turn the clock back and say, you know, we'll, we'll go back to the golden age of, of Ontario manufacturing. It's not going to happen. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.